Good morning, guys. This is so weird right now. So it is 8.53 in the morning, and usually I'd probably be on my lunch break right about now. I wake up at 2 in the morning, start working at 3.30, and so 8.30, 9 o'clock is when I usually take my lunch break. But... That is not the case today and actually I haven't even started working yet because I'm working day side all this week and also next week and there is a reason for that. Zach has decided to come into the picture. How are Cheers. you doing? Well, tell me this wasn't so weird, us just bopping around, getting ready together. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, Clancy's personal DJ this morning. Eeny meeny by Justin Bieber, <laughs> we got Cher on the mix. It was a good time, normally. Even life that's a love. Normally I'm just in here in my robe at two in the morning. It's like pitch black. I can't even like see as I'm putting on my makeup. I'm like, what? It's a lonely mess. But today was not. This is amazing. But hold on to your horses over here. Is that, is that a sign? Oh, yeah. Is that a, I think, I think hold so. on to your horse. I don't know. Basically, this is just a temporary thing and it's because of the fact that we just went away. So my work asked me to quarantine for two weeks, which is what I'm doing. And that means I can't go out and do my live shots. So instead they have me working a day side shift from 9.15 to 6.15. Basically I have to do everything from home, which you might think, oh, okay, you know, no big deal. Big deal. You know how my day went yesterday. It looked like it went well. It was a rough one. Like it was <laughs> the roughest. <sighs> Basically, I was assigned a story that um, went absolutely nowhere. I looked at my call log after because I was curious. 47 calls. I put out 47 calls and got rejected in some way or another every single time. And that doesn't even, the amount of emails I put out is, I didn't even count those. I mean, my emails yesterday, this is, it just keeps going. It's basically holiday shopping starting earlier this year. People are starting in October before Halloween even. I needed to get in contact with companies to try to get in a store, but they are so like, they, they don't really let you in. <laughs> they don't let you in. With the amount of stores that I contacted, my rejections will continue coming for the next several days. Woke up this morning to a nice little rejection from Kohl's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. We are Paul. not letting people into our store at this time. What do I do? And they want me to do the story again today to try for it. Oh, by the way, one thing I do have to say is I wanted to weep. My bosses are so kind and understanding. I mean, the last thing I want anyone to think is that I'm just sitting around my house. Oh, sorry, guys. Like, no one's getting back to me and I'm not working. You saw me. I worked every second of yesterday to no results. And that's the weirdest thing with like the TV news job. A lot of it's hard work, yes, but a lot of it's luck where you can do no work at all. The first person you call, yes, I will go on camera. You look like a hero, like, oh my gosh, Clancy did it. I literally didn't do anything, it was just luck. Or you can do what I did yesterday where you do everything and nothing comes to fruition and you look like a lazy loser, but basically I ended up turning a whole nother story yesterday at like 1.32 o'clock. My assistant news director called me and was like, hey, we have this other thing. It ended up working out, but I definitely felt like a failure. And now I'm like, oh shoot. This right here is my official work from home setup. I've been working away. Obviously we have the two computers set up and we're actually putting Zach to work today. <laughs> Zach is gonna help me shoot my segment. So this is gonna be a continue. <laughs> oh, now he's like a little diva. I want this to be around. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> so they want me to still do the holiday segment from yesterday, but truly no retailer is letting me inside their store. So I need to add a little something, something. Like I need to, I don't know, add a little more of a visual element. So I'm going to try to do a stand up from here. I don't have a photographer, obviously. I'm not allowed to be in contact with anyone but Zach right now. So Zach's going to be the photographer and we're going to try to do this. We're going to see how um, talented he is. He's uh, very much so paying attention to detail, as you can see. I'm really hoping that this works. Is that to your liking? Is it to your uh, that, My liking does not matter. <laughs> Got Zach lighting candles for us to make it look uh, so warm and cozy in here. With our, oh my gosh, just seeing it lit up makes me so happy for Christmas. Are you confident in your skills? No. Are, you Are we shooting it with that? I have another camera we could use. I never use this, guys. I always use just my vlog camera because it's so much easier, but I did splurge on a DSLR and a really nice lens and a microphone. We have it all. Let me see. You can adjust the light. And then, okay, so in order to get it to focus, you toggle this. So we can, like, play around with it. Might be too bright. We need it, like, way far back. Here, why don't you stand there? Okay, the lighting sucks. Can we just push this way back? You at least look good enough. Yeah, look good at anything? Flip the camera. Let me see what it looks like. Either way. I mean, closer. Yeah. And then you're going to come at me at an angle. 
It's that time of the year. Unbeatable discounts, unbelievable deals. But wait a minute, does the calendar say October? That's right, it's not even Halloween, and yet the holiday season is already here. The traditional holiday season that is defined as November through December, it's meaningless this year. What did you think of your first big uh, debut as a photographer? Uh, that your job's super easy and I don't want to hear about it. Just kidding. The lighting and stuff is like hard and then like making sure it looks good and everything else. But you did such a good job. I mean, someone had to carry the team. Wow, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> you did a good job, honey. He is job. mean. <laughs> and now you guys know what time it is. You know, you already know. Take a look at our pantry. We've got a bunch of, oh my gosh. I think tonight I'm gonna make spaghetti squash. Stay tuned for that. I really think tonight's gonna be the night. But for now, we've got our oatmeal. And I'm always, you know, just trying to be innovative guys, trying to switch things up. So I've actually added a new ingredient and we've got the oatmeal, we've got the cocoa powder. And instead of doing the maple syrup or honey, I've been doing a little bit of cinnamon. We've got the oats in there. I usually do about half a cup. Next up, about, I don't know, there's probably two tablespoons of cinnamon, because as you can see, it's like one spoonful, but this is a heaping spoonful, so a lot of, or did I just say cinnamon? You guys know I meant to say the Hershey's cocoa powder. What? The Hershey's cocoa powder. <laughs> I feel like I don't realize how weird I am until like there's someone else in the room and I'm like, oh yeah, you are pretty weird. But now it's time for the main event guys, the cinnamon. I don't want too much just cause this is a very powerful substance. <laughs> I make it sound like I'm doing drugs. Okay. This is how you know I don't do drugs considering I call it a powerful substance. Fun fact, when I was younger, I, and when I say younger, I mean high school. This is how like straight laced I was. Basically the big quote of my family is that I was sitting next to my brother and I told him, you know, the problem with weed is that it could be laced with marijuana. Didn't know, um, I just didn't know that marijuana was weed. So anyway, we're gonna act like that didn't happen. I'm adding about this, I don't know if you guys can see like that much of cinnamon. Dump it in. Mix it all up, mix up the concoction, and then wait. We grab our kettle. Dump it all in, but you do not want to do too much. That's the thing, like, you'd rather have to add more than be stuck with a disgusting, mushy concoction. And then boom, finally we have our oatmeal, about to eat it, but first I want to look at a few of the things just to put together the story. One thing I did want to tell you guys though, this is pretty humiliating and embarrassing that this is my life, but I knew this was going to be my story today because they emailed me last night saying we want you to, you know, push for the story for today. And so I guess it was really on my mind, like how the heck can we still make this work? How can we do this? I, in the middle of the night, guess I dreamt about this story and came up with the opening line, like how I wanted to start this story, jotted it down in the notes app on my phone. And that is actually how I'm starting this story. Like sometimes I'll do that. And it's like, I wake up, I'm like, that's just dumb. But that whole stand up you guys saw that I like dreamt about and thought of last night. That is really weird. Probably not emotionally stable or healthy, the fact that I'm dreaming about my stories at night, but I think with TV news reporting, it can be really hard to separate your life from your job because you're just, like your job is life. Like you're, you're constantly trying to search for stories. Like, I, I don't know. It's extremely hard, but in this case, it kind of worked out. Thank you, Dreaming Clancy, for coming up with that. I'm gonna be doing this, I'm gonna be eating this. What are you doing there? Soon I will be working. Oh, I will not be <laughs> at all. Hi guys, I just felt the need to hop on here and tell you this is the first time you will ever see me eat cinnamon and it's also the last time because I realized I actually am allergic to cinnamon. So I had been trying a little bit of my oatmeal each and every day and my throat was feeling so weird, my entire mouth, and I was thinking, man, I'm getting sick, but it's this weird sickness that only pops up in the morning and night. And finally, I was like, wait a minute, it's the cinnamon. So I'm allergic to cinnamon and it was a nice little run while it lasted. So this right here is the life of a reporter. This is where you have to go when you track your package, when you do the voiceover, because you don't want any echoey hallways or rooms. You want it to be really just compact in your closet. So right now I'm about to just do this right on my phone. Some tricks of the trade. This is what it's like to be a TV news reporter.
could life get any better right now? We've got a face mask on. We are listening to Dax Shepard's podcast, Armchair Expert. This one with Allie Raisman, which is so good. And we are about to start cooking. Guys, I'm gonna try to make spaghetti squash. We're just we're just gonna, you know, take a whack at it and if it tastes bad, Zach and I have actually had a couple of dinners I've cooked where we both kind of just like eat in silence like, oh yeah, it's like not too bad, but we both know. So I'm gonna try my very hardest. Let's see how this goes. All right, you're live. Guys, we are cooking up our spaghetti squash. It is a lot. There is so much happening right now. So I just took the spaghetti squash out of the oven. It was baking for 45 minutes. Then me and my sous chef, Zach, we scraped it all out, put it in a bowl. Next up, we have two giant chunks of chicken. We're gonna just cook these and basically chop them up and put them in. I just salted them with some garlic sea salt. Then we have some mushrooms, which is a very interesting thing. I've never cooked mushrooms before. And these are, these are cooked. We're actually gonna add these right now to the dish. And then the last thing is the quinoa, which this is very fluffy feeling, and this is what makes it. So satisfying. Turn the chicken off. Did I? Yeah. Fudge, I'm sorry. I don't know how that happened. All right, so this is the concoction so far. We've got the quinoa, mushrooms, and spaghetti squash. Zach took over chicken duty, and he is killing the chicken game. <laughs> Woo! Boom. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Our taste test. Ready? Look at his taste. Mmm. I really like mine. Very good. <gasps> oh my gosh, I actually like it. I really didn't have big expectations, guys. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, I'm gonna link the recipe below that I used. I did wanna tell you guys a funny story. So you're probably wondering how has your day side work from home shift been going? And we have some mixed reviews. Some days it is stressful when no one is getting back to you and others people get back to you and you're like, thank you. But today a really funny thing happened, I'm also Telling Zach this right now, I was like, listen up, this is funny. So I am working on a story all about Marcy's Law, which is on the ballot this year for Kentuckians. It is an amendment to the Constitution that would give crime victims more rights. Obviously, though, there are some people who are for it, some people who are against it. I reached out to so many people this morning, so I reached out to one person who said, cool, we can do an interview at 1045 Zoom, that works. And then I sent that 1045 Zoom link saying, see you at 1045 to someone who I had previously reached out to who never responded. So I, in turn, look like the pushiest, most aggressive reporter. They go to their email inbox and they see, hello, would you like to speak with me about this issue? And then just 45 minutes later when they don't respond, see you at 1045. <laughs> That's so awkward. Obviously, I sent them another email being like, that wasn't for you. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Did you think my story was funny? You're useless when you're eating. Oh, actually, it's all pulled up on my laptop. We've got the amendment to the Constitution. And this is one of the things I like most about my job where you can, and I said this from day one of when I was like, what career do I want to do? And I picked journalism. You can kind of like go into all different careers. Like for example, today we're in lawyer mode and we're covering both sides of the story. I actually always thought I was going to be a lawyer in high school, but then I, <laughs> honestly, one of the reasons is I was like, I don't know if I'd be able to debate in public because I was so shy back then. Yeah, now that's clearly not the case. But yeah, it's so cool. And then like tomorrow, well, tomorrow's Saturday, but Monday it'll be something completely different. So that's one of my favorite things. And today we are in lawyer mode. We bought Kroger brand wraps. Yeah, YouTube's been slow this year. I, I really don't eat Kroger brand. I'm not kidding. What are you talking about? I don't eat Kroger brand. That's gross. <laughs> you, what are you, are you legitimately saying you will not eat Kroger brand fajita wraps? Yes! This is a real conversation. You, you couldn't have bought like a brand that we know? like. They're the same thing. They're Grover steals their recipe and sells it for love. No, it, everyone knows that it's like less quality and it probably has like bad preservatives. I can go and get new ones if you really want me to, but... What's the alternative? I go and get them? Because you think you're too good to eat Grover bread wraps? Yeah, I think you can go get them if you can't eat Grover bread wraps. 
If you really want me to. It just got kind of dumb that you even bought these in the first place. <laughs> I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just I turned the vlog. Were you like confused considering I, I was so scared you were gonna be like, you eat Kroger bread. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to watch that before he posts that anymore. So as you can see, I'm taking off half my makeup in the midst of all of this, so don't mind what I look like. But you guys can see Zach's sass coming out. Zach definitely has like a sassy little side to him. Oh yeah. Whatever he said was funny though. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> Obviously, guys, that was a little prank I decided to play on him. Kroger, for those of you who don't know, is like the grocery store here in Ohio. So it's like buying like the Kroger brand, like not as good, but we both buy Kroger brand everything. Or I guess you just don't know that I do it, but yeah, obviously I don't, I really could care less what brand I buy. So I just decided to act like I was too good for it. <laughs> what do you have to say? You're gonna enjoy your Kroger brand tortillas or go buy other ones. Zach and I are making fajitas tonight. Kroger brand shout out, <laughs> whether I like it or not. And here we are folks, our store brand fajitas. Zach's over here looking just as great. And you know what? I have a feeling they're gonna taste amazing, even more amazing than if we bought not store brand, right? <laughs> Mine just has chicken, tomatoes, avocado, peppers, and onions on two Kroger tortillas and then Zach says everything that mine does but no tomato and it's fed he has cheese and no this video is not sponsored by Kroger despite what it seems <laughs> it truly is not anyway we're gonna eat our little fajitas okay I say little look at this this thing's huge bigger than like my head hope you guys enjoyed this video and um definitely subscribe if you haven't already turn your bell notifications on and follow me on social media especially Instagram bye